we are on this marathon to find this drug. You can't just take money and procure it. You have to generate it. And the, the process is not an easy process. My name is Stephen Tewa. I'm now one of the oxygen lead engineers for Build Health International. I'm from the remote side of the country. Everything is a challenge. Even to get a sword, it's not easy. When you talk about hospitals, nightmare. I was in South Africa, but that's where I did my biomed engineering and had a problem, I was sick. Then they sent me home to see by to the family. They pushed me to go to the hospital. That's when I, I started understanding why people need oxygen. Now I'm on the hospital bed. I see the other patients on oxygen. They're battling with this piece of equipment. Then I used to call my young brother, who was taking care of me, and say, I can see they are having problem with that piece. Can you ask them if I can help them? They started going around and say, who is this patient? Who is trying to help us fix all these medical equipment? Then Beauty International came in and the, the very end, they offered me a job. Build Health International provides high quality, dignified, affordable healthcare solutions to patients in low and middle income countries throughout the world. Oxygen is fundamentally medicine, it is a human right. And most people, when they go to access oxygen at their local healthcare facility, don't always have access to it. And what BHI has been doing has really been to, through a variety of programs and partnerships, building oxygen access that way. Working as a team, this has helped us to accomplish a lot. And we have find and fix. Find and Fix is a project that came about um, um, out of COVID. My name is David Makolache. I'm originally from Ghana, and I'm a biomedical engineer with Build Health International. And that project involves visiting hospitals that have broken down equipment. We assess these broken down plants. We fix the plants with the local team on the ground. For BHI, we don't go with the intention of telling you what to do. Our intention is to always learn first from you. During the first day on site, we ask the local team, tell us what the plant does, and then we do the assessment with them. And then after we are done with that, we hand over whatever information we got so that in the future, they can then purchase the parts on their own. I met Steve, that was with the Find and Fix project. Hey, Dave. Hi, hey, Steve, how are you? I'm okay. How's Ghana? I'm okay. Ghana's good. Oh, excellent. How's it going, Malawi? Oh, Malawi is okay. Uh, Steve, just a quick one. I just wanted to find out if you had any. We work really well. When it's time to work, we are both on the job, trying to understand what's happening, trying to do the work. And the good thing with David, he's fast. He quickly picks it up. We understand each other pretty well. Sometimes I feel like he, he knows what I want to say or what I want to do. I see him as a father figure, so I tend to take care of him a lot, try to not let him stress himself out. I'm glad I'm working with him. While we do provide assessments, um, repairs, technical support and advice, we also provide robust comprehensive training to technicians, on the ground staff, maintenance folks, who are going to be sustaining their oxygen systems for years and years to come. We are just checking pressure. Okay. And also we want to see purity. Now that cost has significantly gone down, meaning that our patients are now able to have oxygen at a low cost. We've served, just in the past year, thousands of patients throughout 44 countries. We're all traveling biomedical experts, engineers, um, who are able to visit the sites and ensure that they receive the support and technical expertise. 
I'm really proud of the work we're doing and the fact that more patients are going to have access to medical quality oxygen. And by us building capacity so that all these equipment are running, we're helping close the gap to ensure that quality healthcare is being provided to everybody.